Hey everybody. Today I want to show you all the all of the school um, minerals and rocks and fossils and cool stuff I got at my trip to Arizona um, uh, a couple weeks ago and it was really cool and I got all these stuff and it's uh, all this stuff is from a place called I really loved it that's pretty much the reason I wanted to go to Arizona there's a place called Tucson mineral and gem world and it's just full of these things and um, the people were really nice there and it's just full of the all these um, cool things and I got all of this stuff and I just loved it. So let's get started. I'll be showing you from here, over here, all the way down to here, then going here, and oops. Yeah, you get the idea. So, number one. This is a calcite, it's a, yeah, calcite geode. Um, and here's the outside, here's the inside. There's crystals on here, the stuff, these are flat right here, the outside is really dark. Okay, number two is this uh, chunk of amethyst geode, here's the outside, looks like, uh, this looks like breccia or conglomerate, I think breccia, the outside of this, and then there's this layer of, I think this is, the layer is agate, black agate. And then there's the skin, and here goes amethyst, so you could see the crystals. Then, this is a huge chunk of pyrite, it's really sparkly because it has those, all those square crystals. It's pretty big, too. Here, I got this from the uh, meteorite crater in Arizona, they had these. And this is a, it's a, it's a piece of uh, schist, I think. Schist, this is a layer of schist with these trilobite fossils. They're really small. Then I also have a big trilobite fossil. Look how small they could get and look how big they could get. Uh, here are two hematite geodes. These are really cool. I mean, look, they're like metal geodes. They have these four um, pillars going up. This one has five. There was a sixth one, but it broke off, as you can see. Um, and I think they're really cool. And they're so cool that I think that they're fake. Because look, the outside is perfectly round. It's perfectly round and black. This side is just, it's silvery and stuff. I think these are grown. And this one just fell off. That's what makes me think it's fake. Then, uh, here, uh, I, I actually found this. I actually found this and uh, it, it wasn't from Tucson. Some, the, the, some of this stuff, here is it from Tucson Mineral and Gem World, but this one I found, it was um, in Death Valley. It was in Death Valley. On the way back, when we were um, going to, um, uh, going home, we um, stopped at Death Valley and it was really cool. It's, it was below sea level, which was really cool, I thought. And I just found this on some rolly hills. I found, um, a lot of pieces of uh, selenite or gypsum, you could call it, rock gypsum. Uh, desert rose is also um, a type of uh, gypsum or type of selenite. Well, selenite is usually um, stuff like this, and it's really soft. It's like you could easily scratch it with a fingernail. So that's why I know this is selenite and because of these lines. I really hope the camera could pick up the texture so you could just scratch off a couple pieces. I have a big selenite crystal from Tucson. Um, this one is more softer and this one is more harder, but still, 
so I might. Then this huge chunk of ceramonite, I think. It's just all lumpy, filled with crystals. The crystals are hexagonal. And you can see this one is just sticking right out. And here's this side. So this is the mother rock, I think, and it just, there's just crystals formed on it. And these are flat. And this is just a uh, lumpy. Then a piece of uh, vanadinite, smaller. It's really cool. The, um, the crystals, they're like blades. They're like blades like this. They're flat. You can see this one right here. It's all flat. Like that. The mother rock is like irony. Hematite, maybe? I don't know. And there's this quartz, I think. Uh, so. Then here goes two pieces of uh, citron. It's a chunk of citron jir. This one's more clear. You can see the light through this uh, surface. And this one's just sandstone, I think. And there's a, there's a huge layer of quartz. And then goes the citron, because citron is a family of the, it's a, it's a part of the quartz family, same as amethyst and some other stuff. This one's more darker, like that, you can see the crystals and stuff. Then, again, here's the trilobite fossil. It's really big, it's also curved. And I think this is really rare. Oh, well, by the way, it's um, it's 47 to 49 million years old. Wait, let me see. It's 500 million years old. Wow, that's older than this right here. So it's like, if this was from a dino tooth, a dino, it's a dino tooth, and this is like before the dinosaurs lived. Wow, that's amazing. That's pro very rare, probably. This one is 49 to 47 years old. I mean, backwards, 47 to 49 million years old. Um, yeah, it's a fossil fish. You could uh, feel the, the scale, the backbone. The description is right here. Fossil fish, Naidia Oseri, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Green River Formation, Langley Member Lake Boslu Deposit, 49 to 47 million years old. Sweetwater Company. Um, it was found in Kimura, Wyoming. Wow, well, yeah, that's pretty rare too. Then, right here is orange calcite it's covered uh, in the polish and it's a pretty big piece this one for, was from um, yeah also the meteorite crater same as the trilobite fossils um like that and this is still bite it's on a um, soft foam and uh opophyllite Oh, well, like, they're saying that it's on opophyllite. This, this foam, it's a mineral. That just makes sense to me. It's found in Jalagon, Manasatra, India. Oh, nice. It's white. You could see the crystals. They're not hexagonal or anything like quartz. They're just lumpy shaped. Then here is, this one's from Tucson Mineral and Gem World. It's petrified wood. This side right here is polished, so you could see the texture and stuff. Uh, so extinct pine, it's trial, trial. It's, oh my gosh, it's 225 million years old. Well, the trial by fossil right here is older than that. It's 500 million years old and uh, St. John's, Arizona, 
Tucson, Middle, and Gym World. Yeah, that's the location after. Then in Death Valley, I found a lot of cool, weird, strange, uh, like, alien-looking rocks. Like this. Like, you could see it's really strange-looking. That's, like, really cool. I mean, look at that. I found some other ones, but this one's more... I mean, that's, that's like, really strange. It's, like, alien or something. I don't know. Maybe this was uh, clay at first, and then when the rain came, the rain drops, it just fell, and it made the, the lumps, and then the clay dried up into really hard stuff, and it turned into this, but I'm not sure. Then in this box, I'll open it up. It's um, some millerite with pyrite, Italis, um, I can't read the handwriting, but it's a millerite geode, and you could see the pyrite under this chunk. There's a little crystal of pyrite, and then, oh, I have this clay right here to keep it on shape. So the, the other side is black, and it has these crystals, quartz crystals, I mean, I'm not sure, and it has red stuff. Yeah, well, that's what millerite looks like. Put it back in here. Then right here is a piece of calcite, a crystal. I'll just take it out here. Well, it's not gonna budge. But this is like a, a desert rose. I mean, it, a desert rose all, also has, has these blade crystals except for this one's a, a white calcite, and uh, it's hard, it's, it's white, so the description is, okay, calcite, can't read that, um, Chichuihuan, Mexico, oh, it's always found in Mexico, okay, this is a piece of copper, let's see, tree form crystal and it's found in Arizona RSI it's in this box and yeah it's not gonna be it's not gonna stick to a magnet I mean I don't know if copper sticks to magnets or not then here's a black tourmaline it's a healing stone well most of these are healing stones like Citron, amethyst, pyrite, hematite, calcite, I think, selenite, um, the ones coming over here too, and quartz. Yeah, it has these quartz flakes right here, and it's a big piece too. And then this right here. Look at this, guys. You, could, you, you might think I'm rich, but this is a Allosaurus dino tooth. It's 65 million years old. The trilobite fossil is older than that. You can see the texture. Oh, yeah, that's really, really rare, I think. Very rare it's if it's like a dino tooth. Then I'll, I'll go over here, then I'll do this side. So this is a quartz geode that I cracked. I have other big pieces, but this one's the biggest and the best. Uh, you can see the outside is big and stuff. And uh, I got this at Tucson Mineral and Gem World too. And I cracked it with a hammer. Well, my dad did it because I thought, I mean, this is a big geode and I thought I wouldn't be able to crack it. But instead, well, they, they said it was thin skin, but I didn't think so. But it was actually really soft. So most of it shattered. But this was the biggest piece. This is the half. It was like this big, this big to here. And this was just a piece. Some of it just shattered and there were chunks like this left and you could see inside you could see all the every single crystal the the big ones inside like right here and right here 
there are small ones too. And the, there's this chunk sticking out right here. So this is big. And then right here I have a, a, a piece of this geode, but I painted it red so that it looks I don't know, like some other rock. This was just a, another chunk of it. Then here is a geode. They said this was an amethyst, but I didn't think so. You guys see any purple in there? I don't. So I don't do not think it's amethyst at all. Um, it, this reminds me of the desert of Death Valley. When we were rock, walking through there, the, the color, just the color. And then you could see the, the pointy crystals like this one and the ones over here. And then I don't know what the red is. But if you look closely, the red is actually just crystals of, I don't know, cinnabar or something. And then there are white quartz crystals on here, and then in the middle is the red stuff. Then over here, this is a selenite crystal. It doesn't even fit on my screen. I have to, I have to do it like this. So here's my hand. And here's the selenite crystal. I mean, it's big. And I could just uh, scratch right across it. So that's the proof that it's really soft. And it will just cut off here. There's some more dirt right here. And you could chip off some pieces from here, but I won't. So this was from Tucson, Medellin Gem World. I got this thing. It's really cool. It's on my shelf, by the way, all these stuff. Um, it's all on the shelf, on my shelf in my previous video, on the one that has the uh, shells, most of it is shells, there's um, the second top layer, uh, the second top one, um, it's, it has all of these stuff and I just took some off for you guys to see. Then all of this stuff right here, it's really rare, it's... Um, this is ruby. It's a little odd shaped, but it's really rare. It's ruby. Then it's, a, it's also a healing stone. This is also a very powerful healing stone. It's called Kunzite. That's a pretty weird name. And it's uh, pink and it's, it's a crystal of it. And this thing said it was tectite, but no way. I don't think it's tectite. Tecte is black and it has the bubbles, it's a meteorite. But they said this, it just um, formed into this crystal. Uh, tectite inchinite, they said it was. But I don't really think so. Then here, these two blue pieces are both aquamarine. Aquamarine is rare. Um, and these are just. Uh, two crystals of it This one's more blue and this one's like turquoise colored then this is Olivine Olivine. It's a polished piece of olivine by the way uh, And the aquamarines are also healing. It's a polished piece of olivine. It's also pretty rare I have some more pieces of these, but I just got one So uh, guys, that's it. That's all of my my stuff from Arizona um, on my shelf. And, uh, well, yeah. That's uh, it, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell beside the subscribe button. Like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.